Hi guys, it's Karina. Um, so I want to do a quick video on template 21, which is the little mini rose. I know I think I have, do I have, no, I think I just have one picture tutorial on my Instagram story highlights. And then I believe I also have picture tutorial on like on my feed. Um, so I want to do a video and, um, so this is what your two little petals look like. Um, for your inner petal, you're going to need eight. Okay, and for your outer petal, you can do either 16 or 20. You could either do four layers or five. I'm going to see how four looks, um, and if I want it more fuller, then we'll add more of the 20. Um, so for right now, I think I did like 16. Okay, so first things first, um, what I like to do is I like to get my start my inner petals. I like to give them a curl inwards. This is just, I mean, I personally like doing this because it helps me with the inner center um oh, i might have to make another one because we need eight of these but clearly i did some wrong cutting <laughs> all right so let's start off with four first so what you're going to do is you're going to add some glue we're going to make a wishbone so if you have the other sizes i mean we're i mean they're all they're all pretty much the same, 22, 23, and 24. This is just the baby one. So she can be a little time consuming. Now I like to take my time with her because I like to roll my petals. So you will see um, once I have this, once we start with the outer petals. So there you go, this is what you should have, okay? Now what I like to do is I like to give these a bend like this. So it's like you're forming <clears throat> that little square right there. Do you see that? All right, now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab opposite ends, these two right here, and you're gonna stick this one into here, just like that. You're gonna make a cone. A little dot of glue. So this is what you should have right now is this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add glue, pick a side, add glue, wrap around just like that. Round, wrap around, but first add some glue. wrap around just like that so this is the first part what you should have do the same thing you need your last four Just like this add some glue on the back place it in the center just like that okay now I typically like to start do you see where we have like this little triangle shape that's where I like to start because all the other sides don't have that so I'm going to start here and just repeat wrap around give it a turn wrap around I want to say thank you for all the, um, if you're a follower of mine, yesterday I posted <laughs> a picture of the first flowers I ever made. 
and I did say because I know a lot of you buy my roses and I know that it can be frustrating frustrating if you don't get them looking the right way but in all honesty guys it seriously took me like a good year to finally get used to roses um, because they are tricky they are time consuming and I you know when I first started out you know, I kind of did more of the basic flowers and then little by little I practiced making flowers. And like I said in that post, practice makes perfect. I seriously make flowers every single day. It's my job. I love it. Um, so, so yes, practice makes perfect, guys. So just keep practicing. Don't give up, all right? So here's a little rosebud, okay? So now onto your outer petals. You're going to start off with four. Now, I suggest a very thin wooden dowel. This is the one I like to use. Oh gosh, I don't even ask me the measure <laughs> what size it is. I got this from Michaels and it came in a pack that had different sizes. So this is the smallest size that it was in that pack. Um, and what I like to do is this is what I like to do. I like to go around. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I'm not going all the way down. I'm just giving it like a slight bend a slight bend but you want to go all around okay so just like that slight little bend now what you're gonna do add some glue on the bottom pick a side I'm gonna go right here again where that little triangle is glue that on the bottom okay so that's what your bottom should look like so you want to glue it until where this you know starts to curl up okay now what I like to do before even placing the glue I like to first give it a bend so I get my two fingers I pinch the sides okay and I and I check to see if it's gonna fold nicely back um, now again this rose is meant to be wrinkly so don't worry if it's like crazy and that's the whole look of this rose so I like it so I'm pitching and I like how it's laying back the petals so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my glue gun I'm gonna add a little slight dot of glue on the sides just like that can you see and then I'm gonna pinch and hold I'm done with that one. Same thing. Grab another petal. And I'm just giving it a slight bend back or curl, whatever you want to call it, all around. Add the glue. You're going to go now opposite side. And do the same thing okay same thing grab those fingers pinch the sides now look perfect example right here as I did this do you see how this didn't fall back well that means that I need to curl it a little further down more so that's what I'm gonna do now let's try it again I'm gonna pinch and there you go so that's why I always say first do the pinch and see if you like um, how it's going to bend back. All right, I think I like it now. So now, and I mean you can always like once you're done you can like recurl them and then just hold it for a few seconds. So there you go. You should have two by now. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to do part two and we're going to do the outer two out here.